Hey guys, Tommy here. So today I want to talk about Monero and I've been meaning to make a video on this for several weeks now and I apologize for not getting it out sooner. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but nonetheless with how the market has done today, which is insane, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I really feel like I want to get it out there for you guys, explain to you how Monero works um, uh, and kind of what's going on with it. So that being said, the first thing is Monero is the most anonymous cryptocurrency out there. There are other cryptocurrencies that attempt to be anonymous, but Monero does it best. And it's just the way that it's designed. Um, to explain this really briefly, uh, you know, we'll use the two top contenders, Monero uh, and Dash, previously known as Darkcoin. Uh, and what Monero does is, again, ring signatures. What Dash does is something called CoinJoin. And the reason why Monero is more anonymous than, say, Dash or other ones that function the same way is Dash uses master nodes where all the transactions go to that and then they mix them and send them out. The problem is if a bad actor sees that, then they can control one of those master nodes. You can just control one by having enough Dash. Uh, and thus anyone who wants to spy on your transactions can do that by having enough Dash and doing that. It kind of reminds me of how, you know, you hear the CIA infiltrated Tor because they use the Tor relay uh, nodes uh, and then therefore they could see who's coming in and out of the network. So same kind of thing with Dash. That's not, that doesn't really uh, provide a lot of peace of mind for me in terms of anonymity. Monero on the other hand, just automatically right on the protocol level is mixing these transactions. So there's no trust body in place like there's Dash. So way better in terms of anonymity. It is the most anonymous cryptocurrency there is. So that being said, uh, let's explain a little more about how Monero works so you guys can understand. So again, it's ring signatures. So I'm gonna just try to explain this in a in a simple of a way as I can. So let's say you're sending 1,100 Monero to someone. If you're doing this with Bitcoin or most other cryptocurrencies, it's just, you know, your wallet loses 1,100 it goes to their to their wallet. Just really simple, just one transaction accomplishes that. Um, here with Monero, you have multiple transactions that would take place as part of this. And typically it's three to six transactions. So again, if you're sending 1,100 Monero to this person, um, it would look something, something like this. Like one of the transactions would be 100 Monero. One of the transactions would be 500. And these are going to a, another party, let's call him Bob. So just this other guy, we've never even functioned before anything. Bob now has 100 Monero and 500 Monero, we just sent him, so 600 Monero. And then Bob controls other addresses, which this is done automatically. And from that wallet, he's got, you know, just thousands of Monero. From that wallet, or that address, I should say, 600 Monero will go to your target. So your money is arriving to your target. Bob didn't gain or lose anything because he got 100 in one transaction and 500 from another from you, and he sends 600 from a completely different address. And again, this is all done automatically. So now our, now our guys received 600 Monero. We still need to get them another 500. So you would have, for example, two more transactions, one for another 200, and let's say this is going to Charlie, and another transaction for 300. And these are both going to addresses that Charlie controls uh, and then Charlie from a different address again has another 500 go to your target. So in this example, your target has received 1,100 Monero. Bob and Charlie did not have to do anything. This is done automatically. Uh, and again, in the end, you know, even though Bob and Charlie were part of these transactions, they have the same amount of Monero that they started with. So no effect for you. The only difference or no effect for them. The only difference is you have 1,100 Monero less and your target has 1,100 Monero more. That's just a basic example um, of how this works. Uh, keep in mind that when you use Monero, it seems to generate different addresses automatically. So your, your money is constantly moving to different addresses. It doesn't matter because you control them all, but that's essentially how it works. So, so what you would see in this transaction is you would just see six transactions going to new addresses, one for 100, one for 200, uh, one for 300, one for 500, another for 500, and another for 600. So you just see these six transactions. You don't know who they went to or what. That's how. That's what makes Monero work. Hopefully I explain that in a way you guys can understand. It took me a little while to uh, get the grasp of it, but I feel like I understand it pretty well now, and that's really cool. Um, of course, the more people using it, the more... Uh, 
uh, the more mixing that can take place and essentially the more anonymous it is. So, and keep in mind, some of these addresses that I mentioned may not have been used for months. So it's really cool in that way. Uh, you know, these, the transactions really are uh, obscured quite a bit. And keep in mind too, in Monero, you can't look up addresses to see how much people can control. There's something on the protocol level that uh, determine that you can see how much Monero is in existence, uh, but you can't see how much each address is controlling. All right, so that's how Monero uh, works to a basic level. Hopefully, that's been helpful. So the other thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, I've, in terms of the market and what's going on. I've been watching Monero since around February this year. Um, or I'm, I'm sorry, I've actually been watching it for years, but it, it's really regained my attention around February. It's always, it was always interesting to me. Um, the volume started picking up around then. However, that's when the Ethereum bubble was going on and I really didn't want to, you know, that, that was a fun ride and I was enjoying that very much. So Ethereum was good there. Um, and then, you know, the volume kind of died out and then the volume picked back up in around May or June and it re-caught my interest then um, and it felt like a good buy. And, uh, and that's what kind of, you know, one of the reasons I want to make this video the past couple weeks. But today, the volume has been insane. I posted on my Twitter earlier today that Monero had twice the volume that it ever had in a day. So it was like a volume record. But at this point, it is about 10 times the volume it's had on any other day. Just an enormous boost. Um, I kind of saw this coming too. The market depth in the past week or so became very bullish. Pre prior to a week or so ago, Monero again had about the same amount of buy and sell market depth on Poloniex and then there was just a shift. And I, again, I've been posting this on my Twitter. Uh, I'll put a link to my Twitter if you guys wanna follow me there because sometimes I you know, post there and don't make a video all the time. So, but you could see the market depth change. And then today was a little unprecedented. And I have to say, it's a, the volume is I would have liked to see it growing at about five or ten percent a day, just because it would then it would be indicative to me that a whale is slowly accumulating. But this enormous surge, um, you know, I think it was related to that. Uh, and of course, there was some news too. I guess some dark dark markets are accepting it now. Um, but nonetheless, you know, the uh, the technicals support it really well. And you know, otherwise, it is a phenomenal investment in the cryptocurrency space, in my in my opinion. Again, the most anonymous cryptocurrency. I feel like it's a good a good investment so it felt right to me so anyway i just want to share that with you guys get this out there um it, you know i know the video is not perfect but i just gotta I've, at some point i just gotta get these out there so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you do please give it a thumbs up um if you haven't be sure to subscribe so you can catch my stuff again i got my twitter i'll link to that below here so you can follow me there and uh yeah i wish you guys the best and i'll talk to you then